Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So tonight I'm drinking the last beer out of my January beer drop order. And this is from however you want to pronounce that. I've been pronouncing it Bruise, but I might be pronounced Bruz. B-R-U-Z. And this is their right hand man, Pilsner. And I went to the website to see what they had to say about this beer. And like so many times, especially with the beer drop beers, I'm not finding anything on the website. It looks like they make plenty of beers. I'm just not finding anything about this beer that they also clearly make. But they, this is like the first thing you see when you go to their website and I kind of wanted to read it. So I just thought it was interesting. Brews is Denver's artisanal brewery dedicated to brewing traditional Belgian style beers and innovative Belgian inspired brews from traditional Belgian styles to innovative Belgian and styled creations. Brews Beers is bringing a passion for excellence to Colorado. And apparently they have two locations in the Denver area. They have the the brewery tap room in Midtown and then they also have a tap room um, off Colfax, wherever Colfax is. I'm sure I'll leave a link to their website and surely if you want to visit it, you can uh, get directions from there. So, I've been saving this one for last just because um, it's a Pilsner, I guess, because it's Pilsners are such a standard style that I thought I would do the other ones that were just a little, maybe a little bit more along the craft beer persuasion. But now it's time to go ahead and crack this filler open. You can see it's pouring a nice light golden color. Plenty of bubbles there. Not getting much of a head though. Even this far away though, it smells pretty damn good. I mean, from that that distance from my face, I could pick up the malt. Might be picking up a little bit of clove there too. I guess I could read off the can and see what they have to say. Premium Pilsner style beer made with 100% malt, noble hops, and a clean lager yeast. It is malty and refined with a lightly hoppy aroma and clean crisp lager finish. A classic. It says it's best served at 45 degrees. Which I'm sure mine is a little bit colder than that. It just came out of the beer fridge. And it's 5.2% ABV. Well, cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. The uh, It's got that good German-style clean malt taste. Um, unlike its American counterpart, where it's got that... It, really does have like a bready taste and it has just the slightest, slightest bit of bitterness just to, uh, I guess to compliment it. Yeah. And you know, I thought I was smelling maybe a little bit of clove, but I'm definitely not tasting anything resembling clove, but I better have another drink anyway. No, no clove, just a, a nice uh, malty base and uh, the noble hops really come through and just offer really nice complimentary bitterness. Really, it's a solid beer. I don't know why it's not showing up on their website. I'd like to believe that if you went to the brewery, it would be available, but even though I didn't see it on here, it's possible that it is... A beer drop exclusive. No, nope. it says delivering badass free to your glass, brewed and canned by Brews Beers, Denver, Colorado. They're an independent craft brewer. Not seeing anything about anything about it being a beer drop exclusive. So, 
it must be available, but maybe it just um, it doesn't fit the rest of their their beers. Um, whereas this is a German style Pilsner, and it sounds like everything else they make is a Belgian Belgian style or Belgian influenced beer. So maybe that's why it's not showing up, and it just something that they brew to have in the tap room for people that don't care for Belgian beers. Couldn't imagine. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. is. It's a good beer. If you can find it, I suggest trying it. I don't think anybody could be disappointed. It's uh, it, it's a very versatile beer. You could have it with just about any meal. Is you know, most Pilsners are. Um, I, but I think they do a pretty good job of... of uh, getting it as close to a German-style Pilsner as possible. It, it r reminds me of maybe a wine Weinsteffner or CD Pils, where you can really... I don't know, you can like taste the difference between a beer that's brewed according to the, the purity laws of 1516 and American Pilsners that are not. So, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for joining me. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And this is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.